Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And uh, when I was doing some um, earlier videos on different kinds of stubby screwdrivers, several commenters recommended giving the Vessel screwdriver a try. Um, it's a Japanese tool company. Um, and apparently Amazon thought I should as well because it kept popping up. So I went ahead and, and chose this stubby. There are several options, but one of the things is this kind of intrigued me. It's the long bit which I assume extends quite a ways up into the shaft. We'll find out. I obviously haven't opened this thing. <clears throat> but anyway, this longer shaft um, is double-sided, and I actually have a handful of these that came in this Milwaukee set um, a long time ago. So I've got these longer ones that I haven't really used much except in drills because they don't work that well in any other kind of uh, screwdriver or holder. So, you know, you stick them in something like this, and they just spin because they hit the end. Um, however, I'm wondering if you drop a uh, regular bit into this, can you get it out? So we might explore that. But anyway, uh, let's see, what's a good knife to open that with? Um, how about one of these? What this is, normally I have tactical survival knives, hunting knives. This is a kitchen knife or butcher knife made by Falkneven. Um, just a beautiful thin blade. Love using nice cutlery in the kitchen. Um, have this one out. Uh, let's see. Pretend I'm filleting a fish here. And I don't want to dull my knife. There we go. That ought to do it. Beautiful little knife. Excellent presentation in a, in a leather blade cover inside a leather zip pouch. Thank you. Falcon even for making such good stuff. So what I've got here um, is a uh, little package and I'm gonna check it out if I can get this thing out of here. I guess I didn't cut enough. I'm end up cutting myself again. There we go. All right, so what do we have? We've got standard stuff here comes with a, uh, I'm assuming that's a Phillips. It says a two or a PH2. I don't know if that's the Japanese standard or not. I'll find out. Um, and good. All right. Simple. Looks great. I can handle this. Oh yeah. It's telling me here. So you stick the blade into the handle. So apparently this goes in here. There we go. Yeah, just drops right in. Good, I can follow instructions. Um, sinks in a little further than I thought. Um, so it's probably the stubbiest of the stubbies. That's interesting. Um, significantly shorter, very grippy. I thought this would be hard plastic and it's actually a rubbery material. Um, it's more rubbery than any of these. Closest would be the snap-on rubbery. Um, little palm button there, not that you can get your palm all the way to it. Um, feels like it's gonna work. It's got about the same rubbery profile as this Weeha. Um, one of the things I noticed on that is I'm, your fingers, your actual gripping surface is down lower. Um, but this one's small enough, you can actually ride it higher. So I, yeah, you could hold on to that. Let me try it with some of these other bits here, like this guy here. Good. So far, so good. It appears to work either direction. So what happens if you drop a short bit in there? Do I dare? Let's see, is there a way to get it back out? I don't know how I would do it without generating a ton of force. That's something, probably a reason to keep a bit in it all the time. Um, I don't think I could if I dropped one in. This is a little wider one here, maybe the others. I don't know, it's, it's a Klein one. Yeah, that would go in there. But I don't know how I would get it out. I don't know if I wanna risk it on camera. Um, unless this, I don't know, nope, that's, you'd be stuck. I guess you might be able to pound it out. Um, depends on how strong the magnet is, but I guess I could test that here, maybe. 
Mm, maybe. Or I could. This is, is that steel or aluminum? Yep, that one's, I don't know. Anyway, that's my first, uh, first feeling with this thing. Um, it's really small, very well made, nice um, symmetrical ergodynamics, lightweight. Obviously, this thing's got all those bits in the back of it, though, so that's one of the reasons it's heavier. Uh, it's on par with this, um, with this Vera, real close. Um, but I'm going to give it a shot and see what it's like. This is the, uh, the bit, pH 2, is that a 6? Yeah, I don't know, can you tell if that's the Japanese industry standard or the regular Phillips? There's the Milwaukee one, that's a little smaller. Try this one. Yeah, it looks a little bit different. Um, what does this guy say here? That says pH. Is that a three? Two and a three. Interesting. Okay, I think that's Japanese. But anyway, um, it's worth, a, I don't know, 10 bucks, 11 bucks I paid for this thing. Um, and I will uh, play around with it and let you know. But so far, looks like a good solid unit and definitely better than these hard-handled slippery snap-ons. This has got great grip. The Klein was uh, probably one of my more grippier ones. It's very similar, but wow, I can't believe how short that thing is. I should, should measure that. It looks like, grab a tape here, this whole thing is under three inches. Looks like about two and three quarter inches. The second shortest I think I had was three inches at this with bit. Versus what we got here, three and a quarter. That Vera, or Vera with a bit in it. That one was three and a sixteenth. And then of course this snap-on monster squeezes out to five and a quarter. But anyway, so that's, if you want a tiny one, that's it. That's the stubbiest of the stubbies, as far as I can tell. And uh, with that, dock out.